For centuries, people have debated if a hot dog is a sandwich or not. Yes, it is, but it's not the greatest sandwich of all time. Only one sandwich can be the greatest, and it's this steak sandwich. A steak sandwich on pillowy, soft French bread, cooked to perfection and topped with the most amazing sauce. First thing we're gonna work on is this sauce. This sauce blew me away and I can't wait to make it again. It starts with some mayonnaise in a bowl, followed by some more Chestershire sauce. Also, do me a favor and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And right below that subscribe button is the description for this video, which will show you the link for the full recipe. This sauce needs a touch of heat, and I usually opt for some horseradish here, but I was out, so I added some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, and boy, am I glad I did. Add a big spoonful and grab your microplane and get a few cloves of garlic. Sure, you can mince this, but you get so much more flavor out of the garlic by grating it like this. Next up, I wanted to add some citrus to both add some flavor and some acidity to this sauce. I added a bit of orange zest and then I cut the orange in half and added about one to two tablespoons of juice as well. Next up, we're gonna season it with some salt and some pepper. And when it comes to steak, there are two things I absolutely loved to flavor it with, and that's garlic and rosemary. I thought the final piece to this sauce would be some rosemary. So I chopped up one sprig of rosemary and I added it to the bowl. Next up, let's grab our steak. When it comes to a steak sandwich, you can use any cut you like. For me, I'm a simp for skirt steak, so that's what we're gonna go with. I have one skirt steak here that's a bit over a pound, about a pound and a quarter. We're gonna be very traditional with this cook. We're just gonna season it with salt, pepper, and garlic, and that's it. I don't wanna overdo it on our steak since we have so much going on with this sauce. We're gonna heavily season both sides with kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper, and then I'm gonna give a little light dusting of garlic powder as well. And we're gonna let this sit out for about 15 minutes to come up to temperature. And during that 15 minute time period, I'm gonna prepare our skillet. I set it over high heat and added in some canola oil. I want this thing to be ripping hot before we add in our steak. I also decided to cut the steak in half. I'm making two sandwiches, so it's just a little bit easier and it's also easier to move it around rather than having one big long piece of skirt steak. And we're gonna let it go for two to three minutes before flipping it. And once we do flip it, we're looking for a crust. Crust is essential to the perfect sandwich. After you flip both steaks, we're gonna add in some butter and some crushed garlic. And then we're gonna begin basting the steak until the steak reaches your desired doneness. We're gonna keep basting the steaks with the spoon, which is what's going to add in more flavor to these steaks. You can also add in some thyme or some rosemary, but I used all the rosemary we had in that sauce. Once this beauty is done, which is medium rare for me, we're gonna remove it and let it rest for 10 minutes. The last step for me is to take some of that butter and all those juices that are in the pan and add in one spoonful or so to each of the steaks while they rest. Just trust me there, it's gonna add in extra flavor. Next up is the bread. We've got some French bread here and we're gonna slice it in half. And then we're gonna use that same pan, which is full of all that flavor, and we're gonna to toast this up. Once you have that perfect texture, remove it, and then we're on to the onions. Red onions really complement this sandwich, in my opinion. We're not gonna take the time to truly caramelize them, but we're gonna soften them up for about 10 minutes in that same pan with some butter. Now that we have everything, let's slice this steak open. For this, I'm gonna slice it pretty thin. You don't want a huge chunk of steak when you go to take a bite. It just doesn't work really well on a sandwich. And now before you start commenting to slice against the grain and calling me an idiot, just realize the fact that we're slicing this a few more times lengthwise. I want small pieces for this sandwich so that we don't take a bite and everything just falls apart and comes out with it. Now that we have everything ready, let's assemble. We're gonna start with a base layer of this sauce on the bottom bun. Get plenty of it, but I will add some to the top before it's said and done. Next, I'm gonna add in some of those sauteed onions. I think these just go so well with this sandwich. After that, scoop up your steak, and if you don't have more than the bread can hold, you're not doing it right. You need this thing falling off the bun. You need steak going everywhere. After that, add in another scoop of the sauce on top, and that's it. Close the bun and get ready for an explosion of flavor. I haven't been this excited in a long, long time. <laughs> this looks glorious. Steak's just falling off. I'm mad at how good that is. Mmm. It is so good. This is one of the best things I've made in a long time. And I've made some pretty good stuff recently. Mmm. That sauce is killer. Problem is, I'm supposed to do a second one. I'm supposed to make one for my wife when she gets home. It's gonna be hard not to eat a second one. I love you, honey, so I'm not going to, but it's really tempting.
that's it for this one. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment letting us know what you want to see us cook next. And as always, thanks for watching.